Hi, in this video we are going to learn about local variables and scope. So when you declare a variable using the keyword var, you are making it a local variable. So that raises the question, what is a local variable? Well a local variable is a variable that only exists inside of a function. Let's take a look at an example. So I've slightly modified our add1 and sum functions from earlier. So when you call add1x, we make a variable called result, which is equal to x plus 1, then we return the result. And then for sum, we make a variable called result, and that's equal to x plus y, and we return the result. There's a key point here, and that is that although these variables have the same name, they are not related at all. We are creating a result variable in the add1 function, we are creating a result variable in the sum function, but they are totally different. Those variables only exist inside that function and have totally different meanings. The meaning of the result variable in the add1 function is the number with you know, one added, but the meaning of the result variable in the sum function is the sum of x and y. So here, result is a local variable. It only exists in that function. So what is scope? Scope refers to where a variable exists. So here I have a function called my function and I have a variable called my local variable. So I have three arrows drawn and the question is does this variable my local variable exist at, at these three different points? So the answer for the first one is no it doesn't exist in the top because we're not in the function. The answer to the second one is yes uh, that variable does exist inside that function and the answer to the third one is no, when we leave that function it no longer exists. And as a general rule, a variable exists within the brackets that it is defined. So we have our common for loop here, and we declare a variable i equal to zero, uh, i is less than 10, i plus plus. i exists for the duration of the for loop in the body of the for loop, but does not exist before the for loop or after the for loop. 